As always, welcome to our online worship. This week I'm taking a slightly different approach to Mothering Sunday. I've got to say, it's always difficult to bring something fresh to the table on some of these yearly celebrations. So, I hope you find it interesting. Next week, well, it's the closest Sunday to a significant anniversary. It will be our fourth birthday. Yep, our online worshipping community was birthed the day before the first COVID lockdown was announced. Born out of adversity, I hope you'll agree that we are now an important part of the CYF Church's family. But more of that next week. In a few moments of quiet, let's think of the times when we've made excuses to get out of things that God wanted us to do, or when we've said or done things that were wrong. Let's come to the Lord, who is full of love and forgiveness, and tell him about those things. For turning away from you and ignoring your will for our lives, Father, forgive us. Save us and help us. For behaving just as we wish without thinking of you. Father, forgive us. Save us and help us. For failing you, not only by what we do, but also by our thoughts and words. Father, forgive us. 
save us and help us. For acting as if we were ashamed to belong to your dear Son, Jesus, Father, forgive us. Save us and help us. Together we say, Father, we have failed you often and humbly ask your forgiveness. Help us so to live that others may see your glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may the God of love bring you back to himself. Forgive us all for all the things that we have done wrong and assure us of his everlasting love. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Bible reading this week come from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 12. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Steve, fancy a cup of tea? <clears throat> <laughs> Do 
Shall I be mother? Thank you, sir. Now, shall I be mother? Have you heard the phrase? Well, of course you have. It's rather old fashioned now, shall I be mother? I think it suggests that it was normally mother who served the tea. It reminds us of a time when women, perhaps particularly mothers, did a lot of serving. To say I'll be mother means I'll serve you. Mothers and serving, mothering. Now, there are a whole lot of good things that people connected with mothering. Today, we realise that they are not exclusively things that only mothers can or should do. But perhaps that's always been true. Just like our tea time shall I be mother of a hundred years ago, I wonder whether we can go further back and discover that truth. People might say, oh, that's very modern, all this talk about anyone being able to mother. Don't worry, hold on to your hats. We're going to get really controversial. How about Mother Jesus? Oh, it's those blooming, trendy modernists again. Well, when I say modern, I really mean those 12th century medieval monks, priests, bishops and the like. The Mother Jesus thing was an important part of medieval Christianity. So important that we still use this prayer written by St Anselm, who was Archbishop of Canterbury about mm, 900 years ago. Jesus as a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins and our pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying we are born to new life. By your anguish and labour we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy heal us. In your love and tenderness remake us. In your compassion bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven may your love prepare us. I think people must have looked at the life and work of Jesus and the things he said and did And then, of course, the big story, his dying, his resurrection, and they realised that he's like the most amazing mother. Now, in those days, things were very different to now, but not better, not worse, just different. It was how it was. Anselm saw so much in the role mothers had to fulfil that made Jesus seem so like a mother too. Just taking some of his words bit by bit, Jesus, as a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins and our pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. Gathering. There's a bit in the gospel where Jesus is described like a mother hen, gathering her chicks around her, protecting. Gentle, yet so concerned for us that he weeps when we make mistakes tenderly. What a great description of Jesus. Can you imagine those medieval knights being called tender? But mother Jesus is. And those knights swinging the sword first, asking questions later. No, there's no place for hatred and judgment. Jesus draws us away from those things. I remember my mum not allowing me to go to a party where I might get into trouble. She drew me away from those places. So does Jesus. The prayer goes on. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying we are born to new life. By your anguish and labour we come forth in joy. Okay. Just to remind us, we now know all of us can be motherly but not when Anselm was around. 
the tough men might think of women's work. But Christians did have an understanding that we should care and look after others. Many monks saw it as their main calling. So Mother Jesus leads the way by nursing us, providing us with the goodness and life-giving nourishment that is like mother's milk. And then this startling idea, Jesus, by your dying, we are born to new life. Bringing new life into this world is still one of the most serious medical procedures. Imagine what it was like 900 years ago. And there's Anselm thinking about women in his time. And he thinks of Jesus giving up his life so we can be born to new life. We can imagine so many of his listeners who understood exactly what he meant. Perhaps it was their birth story too. And so the prayer goes on, highlighting Jesus' motherly behaviour toward you and toward me. Mother Jesus, but also our example of mothering, how we should be like him, all of us, as we receive his motherly care and salvation. So we should offer it to others. So nothing new and trendy about Mother Jesus, nor about us taking up the shared role of mothering. Come unto Jesus, all you who are weary. Come to the mercy seat, fervently near. Here bring your wounded heart, broken and needy. Come unto Jesus, mighty to heal. Joy of the comfortless light for the stream. Hope of the penitent, peace in our strife. Here speaks the Comforter, tenderly saying, My yoke is easy, my burden is light. Come unto Jesus, come unto Jesus. Lay down your burdens, He is enough. Come unto Jesus, rest in His love. Come taste the bread of life broken for sinners. Drink from the cup of his promise made sure. Feast at his table as sons and as daughters. Grace overflowing is yours evermore. Come unto Jesus. Come unto Jesus. Lay down your burdens, He is enough. Come unto Jesus, rest in His love. Come now and follow Him this life forsaking. All that was gain counters nothing but a loss. Trade all this world for his kingdom unfading. Come unto Jesus, take up your cross. Life everlasting, he offers to us. Lay down your burdens, 
So may the peace of the Lord Christ go with us wherever he may send us. May he guide us through the wilderness, protect us through the storm. May he bring us home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown us. May he bring us home rejoicing once again into our doors. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with each one of us and remain with us now and forever. Amen. and the sea your river runs with love for me and i will open up my heart and let the healer set me free i'm happy to be in the truth and i will daily lift my hands for i will always sing of when your love came down yeah i could sing of your love forever i could sing of your love forever Sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth. And I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of when your love. Down, yeah. I could sing of your love forever. 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 Oh, I feel like dancing. It's foolishness, I know But when the world has seen the light They will dance with joy They will dance with joy Sing here I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever Sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing your love. I could sing. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing your love. I could sing. I could sing of your love forever. Over the mountains and the sea Your river runs with love for me And I will open up my heart And let the healer set me free